So I have just been sitting around, not really that excited about wearing my fragrances. And I realized today, I realized it's because I haven't really alternated from like my spring fragrances into my summer fragrances. So sorry about this, this is super close zoom. Um, but today's video is just going to be a spring to summer fragrance rotation video. So I'm just taking off these decant bottles because they are not really included. This is also a sample. Um, this is kind of my storage. I have a drawer that opens with more perfume in it here. Um, my husband's fragrances will basically just stay as they are. Um, I'm just going to try to set some of these to the side here. The ones that I don't really plan on doing anything with. Just because he doesn't have like a fragrance collection. So his aren't really changing. Okay. And then the rest of these, not the tray, um, but this stuff on the top and what's in the drawer, I'm going to go through. I'm going to take out the ones I'm not going to be wearing, but I'm also going to be um, decluttering some. So this is kind of decided that as I'm going through each fragrance rotation, I'm going to be choosing the ones I'm decluttering. So I'm going to start with the drawer just because it's heavy and the fragrances will fall over if the box will fall over if these ones are off the top. So the first thing I have is Miss Dior Rose Essence. Here's the box for that. Um, she's already in the declutter list. Um, I'm going to make a video with that fragrance though because I haven't sold it yet. Um, Victor and Rolf. I have Magic Lavender Illusion. Um, Cremo and Black Vanilla and Spice. I talked about that in a different video. Zara Bergamot and Lavender. Sorry I'm not showing them to you. I just, I I don't have the room. Valentino Uomo, Le Covent Aqua Sacra, um, Dior Addict Eau Delice, my Tom Ford Soleil Neige, Prada, the Prada Les Infusions Dole, which I love. This is not a summer scent, but I really enjoy I might keep it out anyway. Then I have some um, some other bottles of, that I'm not selling or really doing anything with. I'm just going to set those aside. Oh, this is Jasmine Sea Sun from the brand Lively. They're actually like a, um, a self-care kind of brand. But I am going to be keeping this out because... It's a super nice summer freshy type of beachy scent. Um, Aqua Allegoria Angelique Lilas. What's back here? Um, La Nuit de Tresor Intense. Um, I'm not sure. If, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep that out or put it away. Is what I'm saying. Paris Venice and Paris Edinburgh from Chanel. I have some body oils there. I have my Grand Ball from Christian Dior, La Maison Dior. Um, and the Imaginary Authors set that I did a, view, a video on. I should do something with that. Um, I have celluloid from Ether. I have black citrus I showed you from Wilhelm in a video already. Um, from some indie brand, I have, well, a not some indie brand, it's Alchemia a Gentleman Adventurers Club. Take a whiff of that and see how that was. I have Jason Ramune. I decanted a bunch of that. 
Um, I have the Low de 34, Low de Transquat from Diptyque. I have the Le Covent Saiga. I have Revlon Charlie Red of Fresh. I know I'm off camera just saying these things. I apologize. I'm trying to go fast. I have the Merchant of Venice, my pearls, which I decanted a bunch of. I have Zoologist Squid. Um, I have Givenchy's Immortal Tribal, which is one of my favorite bedtime fragrances because it doesn't last, but it's so nice. And then a couple more from indie brands. I have Sugar and Spite, um, Queen Bitch, and The Strange South. Dead Men Only Play the Blues. Okay, so that's the drawer. Now for what's on the top. All right. So, all, oh, stay. All y'all, but my husbands are over here. Whatever, stay. Um, actually, like eight and Bob is mine, but I am going to leave it out because it's a great summer, um, a great summer, freshy, sit or watery, aquatic. So Theodoros Caltinis. Right now I have Plumeria Alluring Fig Mentor Vanilla Coffee Addict and Jasmine of Athens out. Um, I'm going to be putting some of those away, but I'm not decluttering any of those at this time. Jasmine and Cigarette from Italie Blanche. I'm going to be putting that away as well, but I'm not decluttering it. Lair Barbe from 1969. This is going to stay out, as is Galavant um, Tokyo. Also, continuing its life on the shelf. Oh, I have so much stuff on the floor below me. Continuing its lifespan on the shelf is Prada Candy Kiss, uh, Lab on Fire Paris LA, and... I think I'm going to keep Mont Blanc present soon thumb on the, well, out, maybe not on the shelf. Um, Tom Ford Noir, Tom Ford Noir, it's not poor thumb, is going, um, off there. Um, Panther Fangs from Collage is going off. I wore it yesterday and I love the scent, but it's just a tad heavy now. Elisheva by Mozioni. It's gonna go back. It's a little heavy for summer. And then the Van Cleef and Arpels Fury. This is actually fine for summertime wear because it's not a very heavy fragrance, but it is slightly sweet. Hmm. I'm not 100% sure about this one yet. So it's going to be set to the side. Okay. So let's put these, the uh, tray is, I'm not dealing with a tray right now. It's just too big. This is a big old pain in my A. So the tray is just going to live happily in its current state. Okay. Let's just set those like that. From the ones that I've removed from the shelf. I'm going to be keeping out Grand Ball from Dior. I'm going to keep out both of the Chanel's. Um, just going to put them down here for now. I'm going to keep out the Diptyque. I'm going to keep out the lawn comb for something like an evening scent. And then the lively one I mentioned already that I'm going to keep out. Um, oops, 
Bizarra, Bergmont, and Lavender I am going to keep out. Um, and the Ramane, the J scent Ramane. I'm going to keep that out for now. Oh, and then which of the, um, the, uh, woo, I am throwing them everywhere. The Theodore Scottinis, I'm going to keep Mentor and Alluring Fig. Put back Plumeria, and I'm also going to keep out Jasmine of Athens, those three. And then the other three, which are Coffee Break, Vanilla, and, um, where'd it go? Uh, Plumeria, I'm going to put back. Okay, so now the remaining question of what's in the, these are what am I going to declutter? Um, some of these are going to be decluttered. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. It just, they just have to go. They have to go. Um, I think I am going to be decluttering Saiga from Le Covent. Um, I really hoped that it would grow on me like the others uh, from this line did. But that black current note just does not, it does not do it for me. So, um, unfortunately, Saiga, Saiga from Le Covent is going to be uh, decluttered. Um, I've been heavy thinking about decluttering Dior Addict, but I'm pretty sure that it's slightly gone off. I've had it for years. And when I'm talking years and years, I think I purchased this in 2013, at least. Um, it, I, I've had it for a long time. So I don't, I don't like to get rid of fragrances that have gone off unless I'm gifting them to someone who already knows that's the case and is fine with that. So unfortunately, I'm not going to be getting decluttered. It's not going to be getting decluttered, but it is what I would probably declutter if that were the case. Um, I think, hmm, it's super hard because <laughs> I've really, like, I've already decluttered so much. I just don't know what else. Everything that was a gift to me or was a swap is not being decluttered. So I think because I'm already decluttering the Miss Dior this rose one. I think I'm just going to let the other ones slide for now. Not my first choice. Um, I'm also going to keep out Soy Neige from Tom Ford just because it, I like it. Um, not my first choice, but I don't know what else to do. I really just don't want to get rid of anything else. So it's like they all, I really enjoy them all still. So, the indie fragrances are going to be put away, but they have a special spot, so I'm going to have to deal with those. Um, and I am going to put back the Van Cleef for the time being. So, let's pause, and then I'll show you the new ones I'll be adding for summer. Okay, so I pulled everything that I was able to get from the first container of perfume. Um, like I had said, I, I'm having, co I am in COVID right now. So I just am getting exhausted. <laughs> so I just, I have to stop for now and I'll do a part two, um, where I'll do the tray and also some of, of the other perfumes, but I'm going to show you, I'm just going to turn this. Is that my leg? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to show you, um, 
some of the things that I pulled out, or I'm going to show you what I pulled out so far for the summer. Um, a couple of things that I actually am going to still be keeping out are Charlie Red Eau Fresh and the the Covent Aqua Sacra. That's going to go into the drawer. Um, you might notice there's some stuff in the drawer. Most of that just needs to be put into my second box of perfume storage that I just, I'm too tired to freaking deal with right now. That's one of those things. Um, and then I'm also keeping the two body oils that I had mentioned I had out previously. So... Um, so the only new things that I pulled out for the time being were the Dior Eden Rock, which will go in here with Grand Ball. I pulled out Replica Coffee Break because to me this is a very cold feeling fragrance and I really enjoy it. I pulled out... Um, Gallagher, Gallagher Fragrances Bergamust, and I pulled out the Hermes um, Chardon de la Lagune, which I love to layer with Chanel's Paris Venice. So let's see if I can fit that up there. Um, and then the samples and decants, these guys are part of some of them are ones that I'm I, de I decanted from bottles that I'm going to sell. Some of them are decants that were gifted to me. Some of them are decants that I've just made. Um, so anyway, so that's just going to be it for today. I also stored a bunch of boxes you can see over here for things that I'm going to declutter. I'm just going to put Saiga there for now. And that's going to be the first part for today. I will do the second part with the tray. Like, uh, I'll do it another day. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you on the next one. And you should know that, know that was never good. Just how you got